Good morning everybody and welcome back and today exactly some good news from Korea we have several good news from Freddy Archery today the first good news we have a new bow a new model 2021 and put a bow in the string and I don't consider this a sleeve so hmm. But we get a description, which I don't have now with me, but you know the description of Radio Archery. A dragon, and it's one of these nice and shiny laminated ones, and has here, it's not simply stickers, it looks almost like a painting. I guess it's a sticker, but it looks very, very, very nice. Pretty one, and it's kind of almost a premium model. We have this rubberized grip again, so very good. This is the first thing. The second thing is, I got a t-shirt. I mean, I got two t-shirts. Thank you very much, Freddy. The second good news is we have voucher codes in combination with the third good news from Freddy Archery. For the guys in America, Freddy Archery has now is a outlet, so to say, in America. It's koreanbowusa.com. So you can order your bows directly now in America. You don't have to order them in Korea. Isn't that good news? And for this you have these voucher codes, which you can see here. And then you get some percentages of So, done with the good news. Let's talk about the bow. I said it's a new model of 2021. It's a dragon, it's a Korean bow laminated. This one has a length of 48 inches. You can have it in 53 inches too, of course. The brace set is five and a half to six inches. Uh, this one is a 40 pound at 31. And you can have this both from 15 to 60 pounds at 31 inches measured. The max draw of this one is 31.6 inches. We don't know the grain per pound. You have this bow with a fast flight string. The price of this bow is 349 US dollars uh, and it's free shipping. So 349 dollars free shipping, a pretty bow like this. So that's all I have and I can go home. Bye. Okay, good, nice one. We have this nice leather hoodie, the normal string pad as we know it. Looking good, the stickers are our stickers, this decoration is nice. We have a leather arrow pass, nice whipping, 51 inches. Speaking of the arrow pass, 28 millimeters, but well, I think it's like all the bows from Freddy Archery have. And the weight, it's written 330 grams, but we will figure. Feels good this bow and has quite aggressive curves, if I'm not mistaken. And now, first of all, my dear friends, we are fully aware that this is not a traditional Korean bow. It's still a traditional design, but we know that the traditional Korean bow unstrung has this almost close shape. We know that, we are fully aware of that, but this one is simply due to different materials. This is not a composite bow, there is no horn, there is no sinew, there is wood, there is fiberglass, there is maybe carbon. See, and that's why due to different materials you get a different shape. So we are aware, this is not a traditional Korean bow. And the second thing is, I am fully aware these bows are normally shot at a distance of 145 meters. Because some say you need to shoot to see that the power of this bow, it shoots 150 meters. I know that. But the range here, the furthest target is 30 meters. So what can I possibly do? And on the other side, when I get a Turkish bow in 40 pounds or a Tatar bow in 40 pounds or whatever in 40 pounds, I can shoot 150 meters too. So Okay, so for my special Korean friends, they always need to make these comments because it's very important for them. But it's still a Korean bow. It's made in Korea and has a Korean design. So stringy. Very easy. I like that. Boy straight. Boy straight. I like that. Brace side is six and a half inches. 
Yeah, it depends where they measure it. Now, if they measure it from the deepest part of the handle, then it's six inches. So I guess they measure from here. I always measure from where the arrow passes. Looking good. Not too much out of tiller, but we know that that here is a little more than here. That's usual for a Korean bow. Lightweight. 300. 305. Getting better in this, huh? So 305, not 330. Maybe the longer version has 330. Sure, that's all. In this direction, hmm, good. Just direction very stiff. So this is what I like on these bows. They look so, I don't want to say flimsy, but they look very fragile, but they are stiff. But let's see what the draw experience will say. No, I think out of the box directly without warming up we reach here a good a good length these arrows are 32 so we don't draw them fully fully I guess let me see no problem oh, nice. so right now we have a little Vibration going on, you see that even in the string might disappear or not. We will see. Fast flight, but a lot of strength, so it's quite thick for a fast flight. So, and by the way, this glove is from Freddy Archery. You see that you have here your doubled leather pad for the string. The only thing I don't like is that it's open in front, so when I load, I sometimes get stuck. Then you have this one here for if you do your string twist or something. And this finger, yeah, it's okay. It's in summertime still a lot of leather here. And you never saw a review, but you saw me using it almost in every video. So you can expect that it's not bad. So let's see. <coughs> Turn around. Minor gripe. Look how they glued together this arrow pass leather. It's not straight. And a bow for $350. Freddy. Mm, Let's see. And I know that the Korean style of shooting is this one, right? But we don't do this because it's called sky draw here in the western area and in almost every archery clubs and ranges you are not allowed to do the sky draw. So you simply need to adapt and use a different way of draw, okay? Oh, nice. So these arrows are 460 grain, too heavy, or not heavy, but nice. So we have a little vibration going on, even with these heavy arrows. Oh, center. Nice. So, uh, 340 grain. It's 40 pound at 31 and that's 31.6, so we are maybe at 41, 42 pounds in full draw, not even. And 340 grain with a loose tip. And a little torque, because we can. Wait a second, like this. Yep, oh, nice. Vibrates a little. This tip is loose too. Holy moly, what's cooking with my arrows? So on. Look at this. Wow. Mm. I like. Ooh. Fast. Vibrates a little. But kick and and well, group. Impressive. Freddy. Nice bot. Didn't expect that. And it's really. If you like this decoration stuff, it's a pretty bow. Over there, the left small dot is 30 meters or 28 meters away. Kyoto distance, 28 meters. But what you can do is, you can do this kind of draw look, if you want to. Nice. Heavy arrows, you feel it. So. Torque. Yes, nice. 
and where your point arrow is going. So this bow doesn't have a learning curve. That's interesting. Look at this. Nice. I knew that one. I was looking completely in the wrong direction. So maybe they are a little 600 spine. Well, they should work. used to it. So it has a little vibration, this bow. Gets dampened by the big handle, but still you feel it. So the lighter weight ones that go a little to the left, so 600 spine, I think. It's a little too weak. A little. So at 28 we have. 36.2 and 30. This is 32, 31 and a half. It's 44, 44.2. Dun, 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 dun. The sword is in the way. So 28 and of course it's a Korean bow. They work differently. There we have it. 28 inches, 60 degrees. Nice, but that's okay. 30. Looks fine too. Then you have 31.2 is here. And this bow would even go to 32. So in this bow, there is not that much stacking going on. That's nice. Look at this pretty bow. Nice. And it's not simply a cheap sticker. It's underneath the glass. So it's really nice. It's not simply stick on. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Handle feels really good. One of the best handles. This is really, you have solid grip there. Nice one. Then you have your description, obviously. Nice. The leather hood is as we know it. The string pad as we know it. Freddy Archery as we know it. Pretty bow. We still only have a little vibration. And I draw this bow now almost 32 inches, so this bow draws really nice, 158, 161, 172 with a little torque, 340 grain. That's how it feels like. 196. Hundred eighty-nine. Not too bad, huh? And with 340 grain, we are still in the range where you can handle this bow easily. So it's nothing, you feel the vibration, no matter which arrow weight might go away after a while. So. It's nothing like dry firing or so. We go for the left circle at almost 20 meters now. Let's see what it does. Huh? So the Koreans don't send perpendicular, we know that. Uh -huh. Now I overcompensated for the weak spine. Yeah, you get there, see? Ah, oh, these are the heavy ones, sorry. Mm -hmm. Nice ball. Nice ball. Look at this. A few arrows and then you have it. And a little torque, nice.
hold the ball completely upright so you see the curves with the heavy arrows. It's really where you point the arrow goes. Nice. Did I hold the ball upright? I don't think so. This is upright. Still works. Incredible. A little torque. And if you want a little string twist, that's all it needs. Nice. Katra. Works too, but then it's a little unpredictable on the target. Again. Ah, yeah, you get used to it. Yeah, a little torque. In the center of the center and this bow doesn't mind torque so this is totally no problem with a bow like this really really nice of course horse archers might want to ask if this would be possible well look at this it's kind of possible but why would you want to shoot this bow like this hmm? I mean, not that it's not working but in this way i got instantly a string slap but it works, so you can do this, it's no problem. Works. The other way around. Yeah, you need to fiddle. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Could work too. But then you have the arrows on the bow with this. Who wants that? Never tried this with a Korean one. Let's see. Why not? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Brace height. Not full draw yet. Yeah, but you can make it work. No problem. Yeah, works. Yoohoo! What a pretty bow. So, from shape wise or build wise, looks a bit like the. I forgot now. We had one who was made like this, so not leather covered and stuff. It's really like a normal laminated bow where you see the core and then the, the glass. No leather patch, so it really, really looks very elegant. So, and then with these stickers on it, it looks quite premium. I mean, it's $350. It's a premium bow, but it's really nice. So, impressed. The only thing is. The small edge here. I know it's nitpicky, but you know, the rest is so nice made. Everything okay. The handle here, the cutoffs here are a little rough. One could make it a little nicer. A package, a bow, a string, and a documentation is four points. Documentation I have no somewhere, but it's you know, this booklet from Freddy Archer. The handling of this bow, this bow was very easy to string is still very easy to string so there's no it's nothing fancy so you simply check that the string is in the string pads you let go and it's both straight so you don't have to worry about anything so this bow is really straight easy okay. the build overall exceptionally pretty as I said before these leather hoodies they look good it's a hard, sudden, a nice material. The whipping is nice. The handle wrap is okay. Only here, these cutoffs are a little rough. And as I said, this uh, the the arrow pass. The, this is not nicely glued together. And when you don't shoot torque, you get this. So this is even here. You see, the, you know, it's this is a little not so nice. And it's a little not like the overall experience of this bow, which is really, really nice. So, but for this one point less, it's not perfect. But it doesn't matter. It's not a, it's not a deal breaker by any means. It's simply for me as a perfectionist, I don't like this. The basic feel of this bow, the bow doesn't wiggle. So in, in this direction, it flexes nice and this direction, nothing. Handle fees is awesome and 300 grams, so there's no weight to this bow. You can really, however you hold this bow, 
nice control and then torque with this grip it's like <laughs> really 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 nice so here nothing to complain 10 throw experience this was out of the box so we didn't have this with every Korean bow that they out of the box directly 28 29 30 31 31 and a half 32 so even on the tiller stock I was not looking at the numbers and I was already at 32 and I thought mm -hmm. so that's 32 there's no stacking it reaches this 31 and a half really easy I like that a lot so for this 10 shooting experience is uh, a few shots and you know what this bow is doing so it's very predictable you shoot groups instantly only a little torque and a little string twist maybe and once you get it it this bow does what you want so this is not a thing shoots really nice the only thing is still there one two three four five and it's quite a lot so even in the handle you feel it so this is even if you have here all this damping material you right now you feel it and no matter even with the heavy arrows i felt it i hope it will go away i think it will go away but for now it's there nine points the two points price value 350 dollars which bows did you have in this price range which korean bows I think what you get with free shipping, $350, is quite a lot. So you get, first of all, a pretty design. Then you get this this shiny, so not some, some like leather cover on it. This bow looks really nice. And with this handle, it just, just works. I mean, black, orange or black, yellow is always a nice color combination. It looks nice. It feels premium. I wish for this price that there would be a sleeve included which you can use as your belt for the arrows. This is my only thing what I would wish. But on the other side $350 free shipping, you know what you get. And as I said in America you don't have no customs issues anymore. You simply can buy it directly at Korean Bow USA. And for that I give you five. It's for what it is, it's a fast bow, it's a silent bow. It's a well-made bow, nothing to complain, so it's worth it. And you can check out these voucher codes and you get a few percentages of really well-made bow, well bow. So thank you very much, Freddy, for sending this bow to me, really nice. And thank you for the t-shirts and the other glove and this banner again. And I need to say thank you, of course, to Danny, the new owner for Malta Archery, that I still can use his range for doing my reviews. Thank you. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.